There is a theory which states that if ever anyone discovers exactly what the universe is for and why it is here, it will instantly disappear and be replaced by something even more bizarre and inexplicable. There is another theory which states that this has already happened. Douglas Adams. Hi everybody, welcome to Portal 8 Astro. So I'm at uh, my balcony right now, uh, waiting for the sun to go down and the skies to, to get dark. Looks like a nice uh, evening for astrophotography. There's no wind at all, almost, outside and uh, the forecast is uh, pretty good. So I'm uh, hoping to aim my uh, telescope at uh, the Tadpoles IC410. Uh, so I got a pretty good view of, uh, of the tadpoles all the way up to about um, about uh, west, northwest around there uh, until I have to change uh, target. As I set up the telescope on the mount, there's uh, always a bit of movement uh, when you're sliding the telescope in on the on the dough plate and things like that. Uh, that's why I figured out that it's uh, best for me to do a polar alignment uh, every imaging session when I'm uh, taking the telescope up uh, for another night. Uh, if, the, if the forecast is, uh, is good, uh, I usually just keep the telescope up. But uh, with the winter and uh, how things have been here in uh, Norway, I, I haven't been able to do that a lot. So it's just about uh, balancing out the... Uh, the telescope. Uh, I have a little uh, screw that I put in the front of the dough tail plate so uh, if it should uh, slip uh, somehow it will uh, physically stop in the mount itself just for an insurance. I will just keep the telescope like this uh, until the nightfall because I don't want anything to get inside the main mirror. Uh, so once everything is uh, set up outside I connect my uh, my computer to the telescope and things like that. Uh, starting up uh, Nina and uh, Stellarium. I use uh, Stellarium just to find the stars and I want to slew to and the uh, images or the objects I want to image. Uh, Nina and Stellarium works pretty well together, so that's pretty nice. Uh, now I'm uh, just uh, finding a star on the, the western uh, horizon, southwest. Uh, to start my uh, three-point polar alignment in uh, Nina. It's uh, pretty pretty basic. I just find a star called Elnaut, uh, slew and center to that one, uh, and uh, start the process of, uh, of doing the, um, the polar alignment. So after a bit of uh, fine-tuning, I usually get my total error Below, below zero or even below 0 0.5 and uh, that's usually good enough for, uh, for imaging when you're guiding at the star as well. After getting my total error uh, at an uh, acceptable uh, level I'm uh, going to the sequen sequence uh, generator and just uh, starting the sequence that I have already set up. Uh, just uh, starting every sequence with an autofocus uh, routine uh, when getting that done, uh, Nina will just uh, start uh, start exposing uh, for the frames you have uh, set up, so it's pretty easy to do, and uh, it's always uh, always nice uh, and uh, a lot of uh, excitement when you're uh, watching everything go goes uh, goes through. So watching uh, the seconds countdown for the for the first uh, frame of the night is uh, is uh, super exciting. Uh, always curious to see how the guiding is and uh, and how well the seeing is uh, at the night I'm imaging. There's a lot of variants uh, going out, uh, so uh, taking images uh, from the city is uh, is not an easy task. But I'm getting better at this uh, hobby for each uh, imaging night and uh, every time I spend some hours uh, editing the photos. So hopefully I can show you guys some uh, nice uh, images at the end. As always, thanks a lot for watching. 
If you like this uh, video, please uh, consider uh, leaving a thumbs up or even subscribing to my channel. Really motivating uh, to, to see and hear from you guys uh, watching. So leave a comment below uh, if you have anything you want to ask me or have some tips for later.